Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Ugh. Sorry, it's been a long day. What is going on guys, Phantom Cannon here, and today I've got a pretty cool new like series concept for you guys, whatever you want to call it. This is uh, Free For All Strategies, at least I think that's what I'm going to call it. We'll see down in the title below, you'll, you'll know. Either way, uh, this is just a new series I'm going to do where I just uh, show you some like great spots in Free For All that you can just sort of camp out, in, <laughs> camp out in or defend, and sort of some strategies on how to defend them. Uh, it should be really, really simple. Uh, hopefully you guys benefit from it because uh, I've been playing a lot of free for all. It's basically where I get most of my KEMs. And if you don't, then uh, you should try it. It's very underrated and it's very, very good uh, to get KEMs in. And also uh, a lot of the noobs play it. Not, you know, not going to start a war here, but a lot of the noobs play it. And uh, you, can, you can just ass rape all of them. So uh, either way, let's get started. Okay, so the first spot that you're going to want to uh, be at, this is sort of the first strategy that I really like, is sort of this area right here. Now, uh, to be, whoa, oh, I thought I just saw a body, but to be really, uh, good at free for all, you gotta know all the spawns. So basically, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, sit behind this thing, basically, and, uh, there's a couple of spawn points back here. Uh, there is a spawn point right here, but, uh, if you're sitting right here, they won't spawn there. However, if you do go back over here, they can spawn there, so just be, be wary of that. So if you hear someone coming around over here, shoot them, be, be careful, because there could be someone coming around. But uh, while you're here, someone can spawn over here, someone can spawn over here, and uh, someone can spawn anywhere over here. But now, uh, some strats for this little spot is just to uh, sort of, sort of, uh, what, what you call it? Yeah, alternate. Alternate, uh, sort of just like looking around here, and then also uh, in the building, because sometimes you can get shot from there. And what I sort of like to do is like sort of come down here, and you can catch a lot of people off guard just right through this little like alleyway, sort of. And then come up here. And there's a spawn point right here, right behind this, like, green, green, uh, thing. I don't know what you call it. There's a spawn point right there, and there's a spawn point down in this, uh, in the underground. And, uh, some people like to try and use this as a head glitch, so be, be aware. Also, you can go right here, and, uh, sort of just look all the way across and see if you can pick off a kill. But usually you can't unless you're using, like, a sniper rifle, or you have a really, you have some, uh, pretty good aim with an assault rifle. Okay. Another thing that I want to point out too is that uh, once you start getting on high kill streaks and you want to stay a bit more defensive, uh, because people will start coming for you, I guarantee people will start coming for you. Uh, you can uh, just dip into this building right here, close this door if you want to, and let's see here. You can come up here. You can uh, alternate to this building and close that door if you want to. Sort of just like put an ID right. Oh shit, that's a grenade. Oh, but like put an ID right about here. And you can just sit right here and actually just like uh, hit people spawning over there and uh, even spawning over here. So you can hear them. If you have an amplifier and a headset, then you'll easily be able to hear them. Okay, another good spot is actually just in this building. I know I just mentioned it a second ago. But uh, if you want to stay at a more of a defensive start off the bat, which I don't, I don't know if I recommend. Uh, maybe if you're just having a bad day and uh, you can't really get anything going, then maybe try that. But in here, uh, you just close both the doors. I just showed you the one over there. Um, and then you can close this one. And all you have to worry about is this entry point, like over there, and uh, this entry point way down here, as well as as well as the the doors being opened. But you can usually hear that and sort of prepare for it. So uh, all you have to really do is just sit up here, and you can get like a lot of people will run across here. Also, there will be a lot of people like spawning down here, so you can just look right down and see. The funny thing is, is that there's very little action that goes on in the center of the map. So I would. I would sort of uh, refrain from looking over there unless you like hear someone because sometimes they can come down in front of this building. Uh, if you hear someone then go ahead and do that. And be wary of uh, whatever this is, I don't remember what the, the top order I think this is. Be aware of this because sometimes people can be there and also top white. Uh, but yeah, I, w I would also recommend not coming up here just because there's only one way out and also you can basically be shot by every direction it doesn't really give you an advantage being up here alright the next spot is right here it's in Porter bottom and top I usually like to uh, stay in top though just in case but uh, either way you can close this door right here uh, this will close and uh, 
I, I, I would recommend not staying, like, in here. You could, like, stay in here and sort of just, like, look around and everything. But I, I don't know. You can get picked off pretty easily. Uh, the best way is to stay up here, even though you are a bit vulnerable because, you know, you can open up these and someone can pop in. Uh, someone can also pop in from up here. But uh, it's a, it is a very good spot. I usually like to plant my ID, like, right around here. Usually, like, right about here on the stairs. You can also look through this little crack and see some people coming around. A lot of people like, oh shit, my pizza's done. Anyway, uh, you can see a lot of people coming through here. And uh, yeah. Also, there's some spawn points that you might want to watch out for. A lot of people like to run along here because there's a spawn point right here. Uh, some people like to stay right there. And I think right there as well. Uh, another big, big, big spawn point is just right here, just right in the very center of the road. So uh, someone can come down real quick, go into bottom porter, get up there, get up to you, and uh, shoot in the ball sack. But so just be aware of that. Also, a lot of people like to hang out in this back area. I don't know if I really recommend it though, just because it's it's really vulnerable and you usually die when you're trying to get on a long streak with it. So yeah, let's run. Down. Another pretty good spot, but it uh, it's a pretty chaotic spot, and it's very it's very very good. Jeez, I can't even talk today. Another really good spot. Uh, that's really really good for shotguns is right here. It's just this little back area. I'm sure you've seen people use it uh, There's a spawn point right here, and a lot of people like to just come uh, Tramping through over here. There's a spawn point like right here right in here And a lot of people just like to come through this way. So if you have a bulldog or even like uh, Oh here. Let's let's restart this. Let's, let's use this guy Another pretty good spot that you guys can use. It's very, very chaotic, and you can get killed pretty easily from it. But it's very, very good for shotguns. So if you like to shotgun, which I really hope you don't because I hate fucking shotguns, then uh, this will be good for you. Uh, basically, all it is is this little back area in, in, uh, in yeah, wherever. Uh, basically, a lot of people spawn over here and like to run down this way. Uh, also, there's a spawn point right here, like right in the corner. And a spawn point like right out that door. And they all seem to like to come and like sort of converge all in this area. So if you stay like in here, then you can get a pretty nice shot on all of them and just sort of take them all out as they're coming through. The only thing that you need to be aware of is top, top, what is that? I think it's top fire, third story fire or something like that. You have to be really aware of that because they can see you basically all the time. Even over here, they can see your feet. So uh, you have to be really careful of that because a lot of people do like to camp up there. Alright guys, real quick, some things that you sort of want to watch out for, I'm going to include this as well. Some things that you want to uh, be aware of is to not stay in this building. This building is also called white in MLG term lingo thing. There's just too many places that you can get shot from and too many like little, yeah, just little places you can get shot from. You can close the door, you know, and you know, you feel safe and everything, you feel all nice and warm. But there's a spawn point right here, spawn point right here, and no matter where you are up here, in this building you can basically always get shot now if you're like right here thinking that you're safe no you can get shot from top top whatever that is top fire if you're over here like looking down like just camping around nope Chuck Testa there's just too many little places I can get shot from and people can come in from uh, too many different angles and ways that y you're just not gonna have a good day in here uh, I have tried it a couple of times but it just didn't work out so hopefully you guys can uh, refrain from from uh, using it Another thing that I'd watch out for is actually fire building, which is which is this building. Uh, a lot of people do like to stay in here and close this door and just stay in here and wait for people to come through. It's just not always a good idea just because you can get shot from two different, different ways. And if you don't know, there's four or five, four or five different ways to get in here. Uh, there's two that you guys probably don't know about. There's this one. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Now I have no moment. No, no, no moment. Yeah, see, they can get in through here, and I think they can do the same thing on the other side. I don't want to try it. But uh, up there, the two doorways, as you guys know. Um, the best place to really stay is right here, but uh, you can't always see people coming through over there. And uh, it's, just really, it's just really not that fun just staying there the entire match. 
So a lot of people like to just run around in here. And uh, there's just too many ways to get shot from. Also, if you go up to, come up to third story, it's very, very easy to get picked off from bottom. It's actually, a lot of people say high ground is better. That is absolutely not true in Call of Duty, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Uh, they can easily just, just look up and see you while you're trying to, if you're right here, even if you're farthest, like as far out as you can be, you can get shot. As well as over here, so don't, just don't do it. Either way, guys, this has been uh, the new Free For All strategy, strategies, strategies. Uh, yeah, this has been the first episode of the new Free For All Strategies series that I'm now doing. Uh, check out some other ones that, uh, they'll probably, be, probably be up pretty soon, so hopefully you guys can see them. Uh, and get some more Free For All tips, hopefully you guys can get some KEMs or just high game plays in general. Have some fun, and, uh, keep on going. So like, subscribe, and favorite, and YouTube, peace out.